Hey guys, today we're reviewing ISA PC Laptop Illuminated Mouse. I guess it's made by Trust or ISA, I guess. Limited Mice GXT105. It's about 10 bucks or so. And it's supposed to be a I don't know, gamer mouse, I guess. It has a multicolor cycle, which means you can change the colors on the mouse. Let's see. Fully illuminated top, speed selection button, 800 to 2400 DPI. You know, uh, 2400 DPI. It's good for most games, I would say. Uh, even like uh, uh, Counter-Strike and stuff. And stuff like that. People usually use lower DPI than that, on the, at least the pros. And for other games, you probably use around a thousand or so. It has six responsive buttons. Yes, there's one here, one on that thing, two on the side, I'm, I'm guessing. One uh, 0.8 meter braided cable. Okay. So it sounds kind of like a standard affair here. Let's open it up and see what it looks like. If we can, it should be pretty. Well, we're kind of breaking the whole thing here. But there, okay. Let's see what it, what it all contains. There's the cable. It's kind of red, red colored. It's a USB, regular USB cable which is probably good for this price and here is, here is what we get with the mouse I guess some documentation which we probably don't need for a mouse we get some packaging and some thing around your mouse to keep it protected and here is the feel here is the mouse it feels kind of tacky but it's, it, I would say that buttons are very uh, easy to click on and they feel very clicky so they're probably i mean you know that you're touching them but they feel kind of kind of cheap i guess you have one button here to change your dpi i'm guessing plus and minus and then this button here feels kind of cheap i guess it's okay it's, it's i would say it feels kind of nice but you know not overly if you need like a mouse as a reserve for something like your in case your other one breaks and you don't have a new one right away you can probably use that mouse let's see what it looks like when you actually use it there we have the mouse let, let me just plug it in here and there you can see it's lighting up in different colors. It goes from green uh, to blue uh, to, let's see, purple maybe. Yellowish. And then we have blue, I guess. Okay, so there it feels. Oh, it's really slow right now. There, that's a lot better. It, I mean, it's a standard mouse. It's uh, for my taste, it's kind of DPI is a little bit too slow, but it all kind of de depends on your personal preference, I guess. And uh, it's made in China, of course. It's probably really cheaply made, but buttons are really clicky. So I'm not, this mouse, mouse pro is probably not gonna last. Too long i'm guessing but you know for for the price ten dollars it's a i guess it's okay it feels kind of comfortable to hold and you, you can get a good grip on it to have a medium-sized hand i guess for a man <laughs> and it's it's there's no issues here i mean it's really clicky you can really hear the clicks if you take this one for example, it's kind of dirty, but it's a. Uh, let's see, let's see what it is. It's a 
CM Storm Sentinel Advanced. These buttons here are way less, uh, are not as loud as this one. So it's it's kind of loud, but uh, you know, and this one has also a pretty nice grip. This feels kind of the same here, but you can fit your uh, little finger a little bit better on this one. On this one, it kind of falls to the side, I guess, so you kind of have to keep it back here instead of keeping it here. Like you can on this one, you can probably keep it like this, but on the other one, you have to like uh, put it here. But, uh, I would say, if you're looking for a cheap mouse and you like the lighting, it's not a bad deal. Okay guys, thank you guys for watching and I'll talk to you later.